Hi guys, so I'll be driving alone for the first time and I'm driving to the office. I'm not scared. Um, I don't think I allow myself to be scared because it was like, if I take an Uber today because I'm scared, I'll have to take an Uber again tomorrow. And that doesn't make sense. And I'd rather find out what's going to happen if I drive myself than paying more money on Uber when I have a car. Anyway, let's go to the office. I'm going to bribe God with prayer for a few seconds and ask him to make sure that I get to the office safely. Let's go. Defigile guys, and fang. Let's try again this afternoon. I made it home. And for some reason, the trip back home was scary. <laughs> There were so many taxes on the way home, guys. Whew. Yo, there were so many taxes in my driver in Dandoyabo. But anyways, I am alive. That's what matters. I'm trying to think what to do with my time, where to go, because I need to drive. But I'm also tired. You know. Anyways, I just want to report that I'm home. I don't think I'm comfortable. On the road as yet see you when i drive again i was planning to go to e driving school this weekend for parking but i'd forgotten that it's a holiday so people are not working this weekend but i need to go to driving school for mainly um reverse parking I got my license in 2020 <laughs> and I didn't do a lot of driving since then. Anyways, see you when I drive again. Hi guys, so I thought I should just finish the video. Um, I'll be posting it tonight. So I think one thing that I just want to mention is that the initial plan was that I was going to buy an SUV, which is a Suzuki Frogs. Um, I waited for it for a month, I think over a month. Eventually it was delivered and I realized that actually it doesn't make financial sense, which is why I opted for a Suzuki Baleno GL. And the financing for the car was approved, but just the fact that I had a month to think about it while I was waiting for the car, um, it afforded me an opportunity to actually rethink whether this makes sense or not. I mean, I could be paying for a car right now, a very expensive car that I like, but that means that I wouldn't have cash to do other things. I would have to give up certain things to make sure that I afford that car. And basically the point is, just because um, you get a credit approval, just because the bank says that you can pay for the car, doesn't mean that um, you have to go for it. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's very short. Um, and I hope that you guys are going to make good financial decisions and get to a point where we, like people my age or my peers, get to a point where we uh, make good financial decisions and we are able to save. Um, we have um, emergency funds. We are able to save for the future. Guys, we don't live from paycheck to paycheck. And this is basically the point of me getting a cheaper car compared to an SUV. Hope you enjoy this video. Bye.